This is Shaman Weaver Sheila Baker and I'm outside once again because it's September and even though I'm whiny about September it's still beautiful so I'm going to just pick this up for a second and let you see. So I'm sitting outside my beautiful house um, on Tulalip Bay in Washington and um, the thing that was striking to me about this particular month, uh, September, it's the ninth month. Um, the cards for this are all have some kind of lack of movement. So I'm going to start with the cups, um, the element of water and um, emotions. And, you know, if you've listened to me, you'll know that I believe that emotions are always fleeting. They're always changing. Your feelings are deeper underneath. And so so those are worth paying attention to but feelings are mutable they're kind of like over here and then over there and you know get us all excited and upset but underneath that the feelings are really important so I'm gonna put this way up close you can see that this being here has got his arms closed and when we're when we have our arms closed we really can't receive anything um, he's got his arms closed over his heart and the heart is really what the emotions are all about so if you find yourself in a place of contentment but not really being active in love, not pouring your love out, not giving your love to anyone, um, maybe even including yourself. This is a beautiful card for you to have a look at that. Um, where am I holding back with my, with my emotions, with my love? So just have a think about that and hopefully that will bring you some clarity, some emotional clarity. So the next card that I looked at, and you might hear barking dogs because I'm outside and there's dogs and birds flying around. And so this is wands, passion, fire, drive, connection to the divine. Um, and you can see that, I'm going to put it up close, he has um, come through a lot. He's beyond that, but he still has a wounding in his head. So if you've come through a lot, and this has been a tumultuous year, and continues to be with storms and uh, other unrest, um, if you've come through this, know that it's behind you. But the thing about it is, it's still affecting the way that you, um, that you connect that you connect to the divine. You might think you've been forsaken or you might think that um, that um, it's still in front of you some of the some of the difficulty but it's not. So how can you um, let it be behind you get the um, wounding out of your head and be ready to take the next step which is the 10 and we'll talk about that next month. So the next card that um, I want us to look at is um, swords, thoughts, ideas, the mental realm, where things be oftentimes begin but don't get any further. So this says that there's been despair that has actually stopped us from doing anything. So if you've been feeling um, like you've been in despair, like you haven't been moving once again, um, this is a card, like I said um, earlier, that this is a card where there's not much movement going on. There's not much... Uh, um, get up and go. But this card really talks about putting that behind you. It's complete now. So how will you begin to take action on the ideas that maybe have been holding you back um, and on which you've been inactive? So um, you can sense into that. Don't necessarily think about it um, because that that kind of got you into the despair in the first place. But how are you going to come to take action about that? So that's the Nine of Swords. Now, also with the Nine of Pentacles, we still have inaction. This person up close, you can see that they have their have a beautiful garment on. They have their arm up. They've got a falcon sitting there. Um, so they have had enough time, energy, money, resources to be able to first of all find a falcon, train the falcon, um, get it to trust them enough, and them to trust them their own self um, about training this 
this falcon and being able to put the hood over so that they're the one who does the seeing for the falcon. Um, this, pentacles, are money and property and tangible things, uh, tables, chairs, uh, whatever other accoutrement. They're really the, that you can touch. This is the realm of the pentacles. So this is time, money, resources to train a falcon. But as you can see, once again, with all of these cards, there's really no movement. So now I'm going to have us look at Major Arcana and the nine here. So this is the Hermit card. And with the Hermit card, what it's saying is it's time for us to look within. Because as you've all probably heard, if you're tuning into these and you're on a pat spiritual path, you've all heard that everything we need is within us. So you have the ability to take time away. Um, hermits are really about going to the mountain and then coming back. A vision quest is a hermity kind of thing. But you don't have to go on a vision quest that lasts days and days and take yourself out of your comfort zone. You can actually just unplug for a weekend and look within. Take that time and space for yourself. See how it is that you are um, with your money, property, tangible things. Are you holding on too tight? Um, are you using them in a way that's really going to work for you? With the, um, the swords, how can you come out of feeling like, uh, wow, the world is going to hell in a handbasket and what can you actually, what kind of ideas can you actually put into play? And this is saying that, you know, you've come through a lot, tap into the divine and let them help you. And finally, here we go with contentment. Yes, be content, but always look to improve. Strive to be better than you have been before. So if I can help you with anything, I'd love to. Shamanweaver.com and blessings. Aho. Kiss and a whoosh. Bye-bye. Thanks for tuning in.